Hey, it's Michael Penny with Teens 1 0, and today we're here at the third annual Noble Awards. Let's see who we can talk to. At Teens 1 0, we cover lots of big name celebrities who give back to the community. That's why we're excited to cover the third annual Noble Awards, because in the words of the founder, they shine the light in what really matters in life. The work celebrities do for their fellow men and women rather than just what they do on screen or on stage. The awards are given to celebrities for their work in one of the following categories. Homelessness and hunger, health, human rights and social justice, disaster relief, environmental protection, and active duty veterans. Several other awards include Activism in Film and the Ambassador Award. Kids from Children's Hospital Los Angeles designed the one-of-a-kind trophies and presented the stars who were being honored with them, experiencing a night they will never forget as they got to mingle with some of their idols. Let's go right to the red carpet. So tell us a little bit about why you're here tonight and your work with Feeding America. Well, uh, I'm here because uh, the Noble Awards are just such a great cause. They, uh, you know, they bring people together and they, and they're, you know, they give people awards for doing charity, which is a little weird sometimes, but uh, they also put their money where their mouth is and they donate to certain charities and they're really generous. They bring a lot of really incredible philanthropists together and, uh, and it's just a great cause. I mean, you know, they'll spotlight all of these different charities that are in different arenas and it really uh, brings a light and shines it on these different things and gives them a voice. Now, what charity or cause do you think young people should get more involved with? It's always something personal, whatever sort of touches you. Like, I worked with Feeding America with, for years because when I was younger, we needed food stamps at certain points in our lives. And uh, it's really important just to find a cause that's true to your heart, find a charity that's really uh, sound, meaning at least 89% of what's donated goes back for to sure. the people. David's awesome. This is a great charity. David's worked a long time with the homeless and food security, and these guys, they're going to donate a lot of money to great charities, and it's going to go to the hands of people who need it. It's important to support charities. You can say that to the camera. Because they can change the world. So tell us about the Robin Williams Fund. Uh, it's being started by the Challenge Athletes Foundation, which is a really, really wonderful charity that provides sports adapted prosthetics and wheelchairs to people that have been injured and want to continue to lead the active lives they absolutely should be able to. So they're starting a fund in Dad's name to continue to do that for him. That's, all, that's, that's amazing. Um, well, we're, we're a teen show. What would you say is the best piece of advice that your dad gave you as a teen? Um, I mean, he was a guy that was very much about confidence. I would say that, you know, if you feel like there's something wrong, if you feel like there's something that you can't talk about, you're not supposed to keep it to yourself. You're not supposed to dwell on that and to let it kind of simmer and become something darker. Everything that he had a problem with, he would try and make people laugh about it. And truthfully, he was voted least likely to succeed in high school. So, oh, wow. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of stuff that happens when you're a teenager that absolutely helps you become a great adult, but it doesn't mean that you won't become one either. I have a really bad joke, but I was like, maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> no, um, do it. Do it. You'd love to hear okay, it. Okay. Um, I can't even remember it. It's something about Oreos, okay. and it's like the inside that counts. Uh, oh, there you people, go. People yeah. like Oreos. Yeah. It's on the inside that there counts. There we go. Thank you. That's the part everyone likes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Awesome. So, you know, today we're here supporting philanthropists and all, all that stuff. Yes. What is one cause or charity you guys think that teenagers should be more aware of and do more to support? Well, we are actually part of uh, something that just launched, to, or Ooh. was announced today. It's um, called Campaign to Change Direction, and it is about mental illness awareness. And we actually just lost um, one of our bandmates. Um, she took her own life, and it has affected us greatly. And um, we are really trying to spread the word that it is something that you can talk about and it, don't be afraid or ashamed and, and ask for help because you are not alone. Uh, well, uh, on a lighter note, Sorry. <laughs> no, uh, on a lighter note, you know, today we are celebrating real heroes. Yes. If, you could, if you guys could have any, any superpower you guys wanted, what would you pick? Yes. Um, I, I would want to have the ability to, to heal people. I think I would, now you sound like really noble and like awesome. I was going to say like, I was like, I want to like fly. I, I almost said 
that. <laughs> like now I'm not cool. Yeah. Yeah. I would, yeah, that's really great. I would want to tele be able to teleport and teleport? just yeah. change. Like like a, like be I here and then go. You guys hate traffic? Is that is that yeah. what's going yeah. on with the flying and the? Like, yeah. Apparently that's what's happening. Yes. But I want to like read people's minds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit freaky. Uh, uh. <laughs> then you know if they're telling the truth, it's like, what's that yeah. movie with Mel Gibson where he can read women's minds? Oh, oh, yes, but with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this organization is really pointing out the importance of using celebrity and using your brand. And, and your art. To yeah, and, and, and in order to promote issues that are part of our humanity, not For just sure. part of our, our art. So, so on that note, what's one cause or charity that you'd, you'd wish more young people would support? Well, first of all, jazz yeah. is one. Because jazz is really about freedom, it's about being in the moment, it's about being non-competitive, and it allows you to create moment to moment with sharing and not, not Competing. If you could travel back and give one piece of advice to your teen self, what would it be? To my teen self? Yep. Listen. Listen? Yes. To your parents, to everyone. Keep your ears open and listen. And pay attention. I mean, it means paying attention. Yeah. It means being aware. Sure. It means learning. And consequently, it means growing. We accept you know, we are, for our brother and reach out worldwide, reach out charity. Let's go ahead. That's, yeah. <laughs> well, the Noble Awards is all about um, acknowledging uh, celebrities and various charities for various types of work. And um, this year, they're, they're one of the charities that they selected is uh, the charity started by our brother, Paul Walker, Reach Out Worldwide. And um, it does. we do humanitarian work, the organization does, and um, that's why we're here. Yeah. So, um, I mean, you know, I know your brother was, was a pretty great guy. What, what do you think is the greatest lesson you guys learned um, from your experiences with him? How tough this stuff is. No, no, no. We really respected Paul in so many ways because he tried to keep it real between Cody and I and the family. Yeah. He really did. He kept us away from this. So as much as it's been a, such a great experience, like in honor of him, we're a little bit more selective of like how we handle ourselves in this situation, if you will. Um, but don't get me wrong, it's been nothing but positive. And uh, Cody stepping in to run row and keep his legacy going means a lot to, to us. And it's just, that's why we're here today. We're presenting award to a woman who's an actual member of the Major Crimes Unit in the LAPD. And she is very um, helpful in preventing human trafficking and reintroducing victims back into society, having, helping them to, uh, giving them the support and a place and a place to live and getting them back to a, a normal life. All of these pens, these uh, represent an organization where we work with teenagers, sunshinekids.org, uh, which is an organization dedicated to children with cancer, many of whom, of course, are teenagers. And you can find us online if you're teenagers, they know how to get online real quick. SunshineKids.org. All they do is Google us, and they can see who we are. Call us, let us know what they need, and uh, we're there. I like the award shows that um, are honoring people that have done, you know, spectacular things outside of just entertainment and things sure. like that. So that, that's good. And hopefully it will inspire um, teenagers <laughs> to, uh, you know, to do some things that... I guess, unfortunately, people don't expect teenagers to do, yeah. like, care about things, you know, outside of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not, like, oh my God, Mom. But, yeah, just um, to, uh, because if, if, if you guys don't save us, it's all over, man. <laughs> what cause or charity do you think the world should know a little bit more about? I don't really think that um, the cause of breast cancer needs any more exposure, but that's definitely a cause that's very close to my heart. My mm. mom, who's actually my guest today, um, is a seven-year survivor, wow. and so I've been working with uh, the City of Hope in Duarte. That was her hospital to kind of raise some funds and get some a few of my pageant friends to be involved, so it's something really close to my heart. What was the coolest part about making the trophies for the night? Um, so we can like give it to celebrities and like hand it to them. Fun creating them and doing designs. It was fun. 
Well, I'm here for Teen Cancer America, which is a, a charity started by Roger Daltrey and Pete Townsend of The Who. And it's a wonderful charity where they raise money for cancer wards to build them for teens and young adults. So they can all go through their treatment with you know kids their same age, which is a very you know cool thing for them. I play the bully in the uh, new Karate Kid movie. It's called The Martial Arts Kid. And uh, it should be coming out this summer. And um, I know I don't, you probably won't recognize when you see me, but I do play the you bully. Look, you and look like a pretty nice person here. Yeah. <laughs> Got a goatee and shaved hey. head and all that crazy stuff. Oh. Uh, but the, the movie is really great because it's got a very strong anti-bullying message. And it's really great for families, uh, young adults, dojos, schools, all this kind of stuff. Very martial arts have friendly and yeah. shows like, you know, bullying is not okay. And it's something we need to stop from the ground level. We are here at the Noble Awards, you know, it's a Supporting these these charities and these causes, what charity or cause do you think more young people should support? I mean, it's so hard if I say one, I feel like the other ones are going to be like, well, you didn't say our cause, you know, but I mean, anything that you can get behind to help other people, if you have the ability to help other people, if you're like making more money or if you have like a big social outlet or something, you know, anything that you kind of believe in, I think that's always good to give back as much as you can. I really love dogs, so I'm always like giving to dog charities, you know, like my dog Twinkles has three legs. I'm like, oh no, they're like, he needs surgery. I'm like, okay, like give my money. Here's all my money. Yeah, all my money for Twinkles. Yeah, Twinkles. Has a blinged out new leg. Yeah, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, it's really. Got his leash like pimped right? out. There you I go. I got him a Cartier leg. He's very happy. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But no, I like, you know, I love animals, so I always try to give back. I give to people too, obviously, but I'm a big animal lover. So, I have a question for you. Okay. White and gold or black and blue? Oh my god. This is important. Dude, this is how, this is who what the people posted this original know. photo. I want to know who started this. I think it was like a CIA experiment. Isn't what it, I heard. You really do? You yeah, think it was no, a CIA it was experiment? That's, a, that's hilarious. It's hilarious. Wow, this is teens. <laughs> teens, <laughs> the more you teens know, get teens, investigative. Illuminati. There's just a giant triangle on my face. Um, I mean, honestly, I saw blue and black, and I know the dress like was blue and black. They yeah. said, so I was kind of confused. It changed for, throughout the day for me. Yeah, yeah, it changed throughout the day for yeah, me. Yeah, it was really weird. strange. I saw like rainbow one time. It turned into a cow the other that time. Might be like a personal problem. I think I might have to go see someone. <laughs> teens on acid. <laughs> <laughs> Should be the name of the show. Hi, I'm Zelda Williams, and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. Teens Wanna Know. Teens Wanna Know. I'm David Arquette, and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. Teens Wanna Know. Teens Wanna Know. Teens Wanna Know. Hi, we are GRL, and, and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. Awesome. Teens, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. He's getting good at this. <laughs>